in somewhere. Can I turn my camera around? I think I set it to Twitch. To be honest, I don't have a single clue as to what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm going to go to my laptop and see what's on there. But quite frankly, I have got zero clue how this works. Streamlabs is interesting because I literally clicked like three buttons and all of a sudden just boom, worked out. I can see that I'm live. Uh, it says that I'm playing Portal 2, but I'm not, so let me change that. I'll set it to just chatting. How about that? Just chatting. I'm going to set up a tripod here in a second so that I can show my process. Um, so it's basically just a live stream for my phone. Let me see what the audio quality sounds like. Testing. Okay, yep. I can hear that. Okay, uh, let me show you my tripod. It just looks ugly. Can I set this so that it doesn't flip? There we go. Let me see what this looks like on the... What if I set it to this? What happens? Does it break? I think it breaks. Oh yeah, it's just, it does not work. It does not like that. <laughs> I can see it. it's like freezing over there. Anyway, let me show you this tripod. It's very interesting. Camera. It's this thing. I flipped my camera around. I'm trying to see if this works. That's my screen over there that I'm using to like figure this out. Okay, so we got this. Te this is a telescope tripod, uh, and I also have some stuff over here. Give me a second. I've got this thing, which is a clamp with a phone holder on it that's used to, like, hold stuff, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to try to do is I've done this before, but I'm going to clamp this to here and then clamp this onto the... Do I do it this way? I'm trying to figure out which way to do this. I mean, I can't show it, but I know it's there. Okay, there we go. So now I can set this anywhere and just kind of have a, a tripod view of my stuff. My phone's also plugged in because I don't want it to die. Also, I can only read chat on my phone. It's a little bit annoying, but I don't care. All right. This is kind of the angle I want on my computer or phone. Stop falling over. issue with this tripod thing set up is it kind of sucks. Here, I think if I twist it this way, it'll work better. If I rest it on the telescope, there we go. Now we're talking. All right, this should be fine. My cord is like hanging off the thing, but let me position myself here. Oops, I just moved my phone. Oh, I moved it again. I'll see what repercussions that causes here in a second. All right, let me see this angle. All right, all's, all's working. I don't think I have my email up. Uh, do I? No, that's good. What am I going to do for the next hour or so? I am going to edit these photos. Let me make sure I don't have, like, my old license out or something, because I know I put that somewhere. I don't. Okay. Point this lamp away so it's, it's not so blinding. Okay. What we're basically going to do... You see here we got these photos. They're very nice photos. If I play the whole thing, you can see it has, like, the cross on my head, on my face. That's normal. But what's not normal is, uh... Where is it? this thing right here so what I need to do it's like the end part you see how it's normal and it's good and then you go a couple frames let me zoom out here go a couple frames and it like misaligns itself I know you guys can't see my screen at all but 
you have to you have to think with me here. Let me move this closer. This is how it's gonna work in the IMSA IMSA setup. I'm looking at this. So yeah, you see how it's like it's fine. It's I'm, my face is in the middle, and all of a sudden, oh, it gets all janky. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. We need to fix that. How I fix that, and I've already done a lot of these photos, is I simply go on a timeline here, find out where it starts getting all janky. Here's be this one. And I need to set up this monitor thing. I don't need that. But I do need... Where is it? It's like... Why is my laptop... Oh, I'm running it off my laptop. That makes sense. Hmm. Shoot, which one is it? It's It should be like effects controls, I think. Yeah, okay. This doesn't matter at all. And then... All of these are fine, so I take this at the 200%. Go up a little bit. And this is where the fun part begins. I just start centering my eyes. That's how it all works. Let me move my camera a little bit. Oh, nice bit rate. So that's that's the issues of having crap bit rate. Let me make sure I'm not streaming with data because that would just be freaking stupid. So we've got this. How the frick do we fix this? Well, you see I already have an effect on it. If I remove the effect, it goes like that. So I already have a piece of the job done for me for this one. It's rather simple. I can kind of just drag it into place. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I wonder if that will make it look a little better. Uh, we'll set it back to where it was. That's fine. That's a rare occasion. Usually I have to do stuff like this where I put it in the middle and then resize it. It's like 100. 101 maybe. Is that good? Uh, how about we do... Oh, we need negative one. See, it's, it's always like in the middle. I don't like that. Uh, how about 102? That works. Yippee. So that one's done. And we just keep doing this for a long time. I think I just messed this one up. No, I didn't. Okay, good. None of these need, like, a rotation change, which is good. I don't like changing this stupid rotation. This one's about a 99. So we're going to be doing this for a while. I'm only going to be streaming for, like, 30 minutes max, basically, until I get this done. This is a test stream, so, I mean, there's not much to show. I'm not going to highlight it or anything. Might not even post it to YouTube. Well, I might just do that for the archive's sake. But... There's not really much going on here. So yeah, I take that effect and I copy it. No, well, that didn't work. Uh, I'm using the wrong keyboard. Take that effect, copy it, paste it along there. This one has some really weird rotation stuff. Set to zero, maybe. Uh, that kind of fixed it. What, 0.5. Perfect. And the size is already good on that one. I'm going to need to make it a little bit smaller, like 98, maybe. A little bit smaller, 97. There we go. Even smaller. How about, well, let's not go 96. The process continues. One of the big things is I just have to get the size right, and then it's pretty easy from there. 0.5, I think that one is. How about 0? Which one looks better? I'm going to say 0.5 does. And I have to do these for all the photos. Now I could go into, uh, what's it called? Adobe After Effects and try to do this. But the last time I tried to do that, it did not go well. The auto tracking feature in it does not work very well. Especially when you're tracking two points. Because if it moves just ever so slightly, you are screwed. Um, zero. Ah, that one looks a little bit weird. That's fine. 
It's like 90. Oh my gosh. Is that too much? How about 93? That looks about right. Set this to zero. 92. Oh no, 94. There we go. It's all about getting that perfect value. All of these have better rotation than the other ones. Let me copy this over here. So you just kind of have to have like a rolling average of what you're doing. And it just works out. So like that one I just copied that I had to move it a little bit. And now it's fine. Although I think I will set it to about 95. Yep, that looks great. And you just continue that. Continue with that for a long time. This one's going to be negative 25. Maybe even negative 1. I'll see in a second. Is that too big? Yep, 98. Say 97? No, 99. So the rotation also messes with the sizing just ever so slightly, so you have to be careful as well. That's already too big. Really? Is it 100? I'm confused here. 99. I don't think I need to apply. Well, I'll do a little bit of rotation in it. We'll have some big rotation. It's in the opposite direction too. And we're gonna set the size to 98. But yeah, this is not interesting at all. This is very boring. Uh, after I do this, I think I'm gonna try to do the After Effects version of it. I only have a couple left. So I'm gonna try to do the After Effects version, which is just to auto track it, which is really janky. But it, it might work. Some weird rotation here. Oops. That made it worse. Negative one. Look at that. This one's ever so slightly too big. 92. Might also have to do rotation. Yep. too big. No, too small. This one has some... Actually, this is like... I don't think I need to rotate this one. To make it bigger. Seven. See, the goal is just knowing how much you have to do and to not overdo it. Uh, I'll do it without the rotation. This one looks interesting. That might go right. Oh, look at that! Perfect. Although I do, sh I do think I should go one smaller. There we go. Crap. So it looks like streaming from my phone works, but I don't think I would do that, like on the norm. Like I'd have to set it up in the Twitch editor, and then mess with it. Because streaming just from the phone kind of sucks. Wow, that's a really blurry image. Some of these images I take, like, after I work out or something. And so, I'm just shaky. Look at that. I might need a bit of rotation. There we go. This one looks perfect, actually. Ooh, look at that. And some big ones. This is a rotation the opposite direction, I think. Yep. I think it already has perfect size. No, it doesn't. 93. 92, maybe. We need to make sure you do not appear here again. Bailiff, wag his PP. Ah! I gotta find that. Is there sound coming out of this? No. I thought I could hear myself. Turn up the mic, bro. What the frick? Okay, hold on.
There's a noise, but I don't know what the frick that. That's a weird noise. Okay, that hurts my ears. There's a Streamlabs logo in the bottom left. That's so cringe. Uh, hmm. What the frick is Safety Center on Twitch? What? Safety Center. Whatever. The right to not be offended or something like that? I don't know. Let's continue this. The faster I get this done, the more I can fiddle with After Effects, and we know how much I love fiddling with After Effects. I don't, but... Seriously, that was perfect on the first try, and I just messed it up. Oh my gosh. This is so cringe. One's curious. Oh, it's not edited at all. That makes sense. Let's reset this to zero and copy it again because truthfully, that's better than the other presets. Bang. Alright, we'll copy this one. This one's like a this one's like a model photo. This is why I want the other photos to look like. Lunar is now playing Counter-Strike. The frick, Lunar? Why do you play Counter-Strike? You need to be productive like me. You need to edit these photos for no reason. How much do I got left? Not that much. I'll take that as a dub. Uh, this is the next one. 96. Go up a little. Too big. Also, minor rotation. Uh, more minor. 97. That's still too big. I need a whole rotation. Ah. Whatever. This one's too small. We're gonna go 98. Not enough. We'll go 101. First try. I think that's... Might need a little rotate. Nope, that's fine. No rotation needed. This one's going to be 100. My first try is every time. Dang it. It's going to be about 102. 102, 103, same thing. I don't know. Uh, 103 is 100% better. Alright, uh, I'm calling it. This one's going to be 101. Oh, I was almost exactly right. I think it's about 99. Or 100. Yep, there we go. Minor rotation. This one's gonna be 101. Actually, uh, is it gonna be? No, this one's gonna be exactly 100. Crap. Big rotation, wrong way, big rotation. Oh, it might have actually been 100. Oh, cool. Uh, it's still a little too big. 99 maybe, or no? Wait, was it 101? Oh my gosh, I'm trolling myself. Uh, this one is almost perfect size already. It might actually be too big. Oh, 95. Uh, rotation on the left side, 0.5. Wrong way, 0, negative 0.5. Then move that. Just like so. Is it really 94? Was that already correct? I think it's actually 96 is what I can do. Yeah. See, it just clicks eventually. Uh, this one isn't big enough. I'm going to say 96. No, 97. I also didn't do 96. Uh, yeah, it's 97. Uh, I don't think there's any rotation. Nope. Just 97 fits nicely. 
Uh, this is a big rotation, negative one. Really? One, okay. And also slightly bigger. Is that rotation too big? Oops. Yeah, it was. Well, that fixed it, so whatever. This one might actually work first try. Okay, rotation time. Wrong way. 0.5 better than that. See, with... I do like 0.5s in uh, After Effects. It just does it for you. Like, it works. I don't know what I'm talking about. It, it works. Like, it... All the numbers work out. Also, one's better. Alright, we're almost done. This one looks almost perfect, but I need a minor rotation. 0.5. Already perfect. All right, this one looks almost perfect. Uh, it's a little too big. Maybe three. Also, some rotation. I got one. Is one too much? No, perfect. This one too small. Ninety-five, maybe. Ninety-six. How about that? And a little bit of rotation. There we go. This one might be perfect. No. Dang that, but the AC just turned on. See, that's what the sound is. That's like the worst sound you could possibly hear. Because you just know the audio quality is going to suck after that. 101 maybe? Uh, also need a big rotation. Other side. Uh, too much. This should go nicely. Too big. Nope, too small. Bang. Oh, look at that. That pretty much matched perfectly. A uh, little bit of, little itty bit. Oh, no, we don't need a rotation. It just needs to be bigger or smaller. 93. Oh my gosh, he's like almost perfect. What the frick? I've been popping off lately. Too small. Uh, this is too small by just a hair. About 97. Look at that. Those are all the recent ones. Alright, and just like that, that is every single one of these completed. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all of this into... What's the frame rate of this one? Is this 30? Yeah, it's 25 for some freaking reason. I don't know, dude. Uh, let's render this. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta delete this stupid thing. There we go. Let's render this. And check it out. I'll do it full screen when it does pop up. Armory crate. Armory crate. My social security number on here or something? I'm gonna set this to turbo. I imagine it's going to make my computer go super hot for no reason. I found a video earlier that I thought it was funny. Let me go find that. The people in this server are unholy, so I'm just going to point my camera away from Discord. I'll download the video. There you go. We must make sure that you do not appear here again. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. <laughs> Very funny. We must make sure you do not appear here again. Bailiff, whack his pee pee. Still rendering. Uh, I'm gonna close Discord. What's this video? So Underdy today decided it'd be a funny idea to just spam ping everybody in the a server called the Furry Nexus. 
and just he immediately got banned and everybody in chat was like oh my gosh this is so cringe pinged me on my work day one of the mod yeah one of the mods said i love getting pinged while i'm doing my job like, shut up, dude. No one cares. It's your job to delete these. The auto mod did it quicker than you. Stop crying because the robot took your job. Please and thank you. Um. Do I have to make another one of these sequences so I can freaking fix it? I think so. Hmm. Well, I'll wait for this to render. <sighs> This is what I'm going to post on my Snapchat. Just kidding, I don't have a Snapchat, but I'm going to post... What am I going to post? What happened to the Streamlabs logo? Did it disappear? Is it there? It's got to be somewhere. It's on Streamlabs that I'm streaming this. Oh, I see it. It's ever so faint. Ever so slightly there. I can see it in the bottom left. It's like, where is my monitor? It's like, let me put my hand over it. Is that it? No, not even close. About right there. Maybe. Nope, down, there. That's yeah, like right there. Right there is where it pops up. It goes away from time to time. That's interesting. That's curious. There it goes. Right there. Thing. That wasn't even close. Alright. A little bit of rendering left to do. And then I'm going to pop open... Uh, what's it called? After Effects and try to do this using the automatic way. So here's the whole video. And it has auto color on it, which is why it took so long to render. That's interesting. Look how pale my face is in this compared to this. See, the color isn't consistent. That's what I hate about it. The white is just too blue. You know what I'm saying? Is there a way I can, like, color balance on my skin? Let me try that. Color. White balance selector. Oh, this isn't on here. Well, I can do it on here, I guess. That does nothing. Okay, that makes the image, like, gray. What if I actually do the white background? Okay, that looks good. So maybe it worked automatically. If I do auto color on this, I don't think much changes. See, the auto color just makes it so white. Like, what the frick? doing that oh if I set the white clip to 10% that doesn't do anything doesn't make any sense I need I need my skin color to be like the same always I don't know how to make that happen do I have to do that for every photo because that would be kind of dumb uh, let me look at the photos see what I can do so I don't want to do auto, because I know it's just annoying. I want, like, an example skin tone picture. We'll do uh, the one that's down here. Where's, where's the best photo of me? I know there's a really good photo of me among these. It's, like, around here. There it is, right there. The best ever picture of me. Is that a good skin tone reference? I think so. Okay. So. It's like change color. Okay, so that does nothing. Oh, it might be color correction. 
I don't want to do that for every photo. How about change to color? Uh, that's not going to work. I have to, like, set it so that this color, it, like, auto white balances. I'm going to go to the metric color, see what I can find. Uh, HSL secondary, I think, is the one I want. Yep, right here. It's like set color. I just want to, oh wait, hold on, add color. I want to add all of this in the middle. Wait, but why wouldn't I just be able to white? Ah, uh, it doesn't make sense. Hold on. Color wheels. Uh, basic correction. So what if I do white balance on my skin? I think that's... Yeah. Do I have to do that every time? Because that would just be annoying. I don't want to white balance my skin every time. Okay, so what if I just did this? And then... That is some help. I don't care about creative. Close a stupid thing. I don't want to see this. Curves. I don't care about curves. Color wheels and match. Face detection. What? What? Is face detection a thing that I can just use? Face detection isn't even on here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I want them to look all the same. What the frick does face detection do? How does that help? This is just all the colors combined. This doesn't help at all. The comparison view sucks. Oh, apply match! Ah, do I have to do that for every single one? Wait, apply the match to the exact same photo. I want to know what happens. I gotta know what happens. Uh, where is it? It's this one. Can you guys even see this? All right, hold on. Apply match, and look at this. It didn't change at all. Oh, it just, just ever so slightly changed. All right, let's try this. We're going to go to this one. Let's go here. The metric color, I don't care about basic correction. What I want is... Copy this. What I want is to apply the match. That works. So what if I just do that for every single one? What if I, f let's find like a really janky photo, okay? Just like a, a real nasty one. Yeah, here we go. I want to see what happens if I try this. Oh! Alright, that one's not even the worst. This one is the worst. This one, my skin is just bleh. Apply match. I look so pale in this photo. It's perfect. What can I say? It looks a lot bluer, but I think that's better than, like, the blinding white that's there. Right. Yeah, that's so much better. Oh, my gosh. That is so much better. Jeez Louise. All right, I'm going to have to do this on all of them. I don't want to do that. I want to know if there's a way that I can quite simply just apply the match to all of them. Hmm. Like a batch of photos, you know what I'm saying? Uh, alternatively, I could do this on every single one. It should be... It wouldn't be awful, but it would be tedious. Could do that. I don't... I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. Hmm. 
shrink this down. I don't really need these. I kind of just want this. Okay. If I go to here and I click paste, do I have to scroll every single freaking time? Yeah, I do. Great. Uh, Alright, we can, we can set up like a workflow here. I don't know how that will, how that will look. See, I want to be able to paste them. I just want to, boom, be able to right then and there, click apply match, and then go to the next one. Um, I don't think that should be terribly hard. Let's delete all of these just for heaven's sake. And uh, let's highlight all of these and what's it called? Remove attributes, the metric color. It's the only one we need to remove. Okay. Anyway, back to here. Where is it? Yep, lumetri color. Basic correction. I want to see what it does on this one because I know that the freaking it just looks terrible here. I want to see. I'm guessing it's gonna brighten it up. Okay, that doesn't do much. It looks it looks good still. I like it. Uh, so then we click. We'll have to. Okay, so we'll have to apply a lumetri color like a batch. Let's do that first. This D, apply match. D. And it applies it pretty much instantly. Although it has to do with like each one. Yeah, it does take quite a bit. Oh wait, is it doing it off of that one? Or what is it doing off of? It already analyzed it. What the frick? Stop! You broke. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. Wait, does it mess it up if you apply it differently? Like on a different one? What if I just switch back? If I apply it twice, it kind of just breaks. But it looks like it still works. Did I apply it to that one? I'm confused. See, this is why Premiere Pro kind of sucks sometimes. I wish I could just do it to all of them, but I know that's not going to happen. I want to see if auto color is an option somewhere around here. Alright, leave my color broke. Let me delete that and paste it again. I think with this you can set a reference frame. Nope, okay, never mind. Dang it, that's annoying. Let's just find color. How about that? Brightness and contrast, lumetri color, color balance, blah, 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 blah. Color key, color balance, fast color corrector. This looks interesting. How about we look at this? Take a little, a little sneaky peeky. Let me clear attributes real quick. Okay. Fast color corrector, bang. Oh my gosh, what the frick is this? Uh, what the frick? This is a weird color corrector. Auto white level. Does it just do it automatically? It's not doing anything. I can see it. It's not even changing. Oh, I'm not highlighting the image. I'm freaking dumb. Nothing's changing, though. I clicked auto white level and just nothing happened. Oh, my goodness. I don't care about split view. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I don't know why you would want to output Luma. Uh, okay, that does not help me. Three-way color collect corrector. Okay, this is just broken. RGB color corrector. No. Leave color. Amount to decolor. Can I do it where I, like, highlight my face and then it... That'd be interesting. Ah, that's cool softness, like, jack that up. Ah, whatever. 
No one cares. Um, color replace. That just looks awful. Uh, color pass. That looks terrible. Video limiter kind of looks stupid. I think my best solution here is to just spam Lumetri color. It's going to take a while, but it's whatever. I've got the time. Paste that. Alright. So what we have to do is go to our... None of, yeah, none of these are extended. Let me fix that real quick. So I want to extend that one and then copy it and paste it on all of these. Yeesh, there are a lot of them, so I, I don't... I wonder if I... I could probably make an auto-clicker for this. So analyzing, da 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 da. I could totally make an auto clicker for this. All right, I'll mess with that later. That's a really easy auto clicker job there. No human would need to do that. Like that's just gonna take too long, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll leave all those there. But what I want to do is copy all of this into a yet another thing. Can I make a copy of this thing? Copy of this? I want to do that. Uh, don't know if that was a good idea. Okay, there we go. Editing tricker. <sighs> I spelt that wrong. And then let me move this to the top. Oh, it's going to take four freaking ever. Go to the top. No, you don't need to load the freaking images. I'm just going up. Man, please. Alright. We'll get there eventually. No matter how slow that this wretched computer is. There we go. Alright. Okay, so what we have to do here, highlight all of these, reset all of their settings, literally all I need to do, remove attributes, yes. I also want to resize these. Uh, what is the size of these photos? Pictures. All of them are th two, three, one, six, three, zero, eight, eight. I want to preserve that quality as much as possible. What? Okay, don't care. Uh, oh, I put them in the wrong way. Wait, what? No, that's, oh, it's horizontal, yeah. Wait, what? No, that should work. Is it vertical? Oh, I have comparison view on. Dude, I'm freaking dumb. There we go. So all these photos should be full size. Should all be working out. Except for these. These ones are strange. You know what? For our purposes, I think we should remove them. I don't know. You know what? Let's resize them. That actually is a lot better. 178, I think that's just the one we should do. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I don't know why I took the pictures like that. That was a dumb idea. It just changed the format. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. From here, we have to highlight all of this. And this is gonna make a huge composition because that's what happens. And we're gonna open Adobe After Effects and we're gonna see how this works out. I got my chapstick. This is like what I see when I'm streaming. Like this is my camera and everything is actually on because I was recording a segment earlier. I give a room tour, I guess. Well, I can just turn the camera around. This is my room. 
I'm moving the whole tripod, by the way. There's all the stuff I have packed for school. I was actually going to pack more of that during the stream, but then I decided to edit. So, good job, Solosis, for keeping your priorities in order. Your disk cache is on a drive that does not have enough available space. I don't care. What do you mean, not enough available space? It has 93 gigabytes of free space. The frick? Uh... Whatever, I do not care. Uh, I center attempt to... Look at that. Look at all the... F I know you probably can't see it, but there are just a lot of photos being loaded in here. Like they, it's just going down the list. Tons of photos being added in. It says they're all individual compositions. That's kind of dumb. Alright, I think it's about to get to the end. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please get to the end. It's still going. When's the earliest picture? I thought I had... There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at this timeline. Oof. Yeesh. Wait, I didn't even need to do the whole thing. Because I just... Oh my gosh, I should have rendered as a separate sequence. You know what? It doesn't matter that much. Can I put this all in a sequence? This is weird. Uh... Okay. So what we need to do... We could do this, like, semi-manually, but that would be kind of stupid. I want to find a good model picture. A good, a good picture that I just set as the baseline. And I think it should be the best picture I've ever taken. Where is it? I don't want it to be slanted because that just kind of looks stupid. But that might be my best choice. Where the frick is it? Uh, it's further down this way. Oh, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. I'm close, there it is. The best picture. It's a little bit slanted. This one's almost better because my eyes aren't slanted. You know what? We're going to go with this one just for our purposes. Now, what we have to do, uh, it should be like an option. Yeah, effects and presets. There should be one. Actually, this is the wrong one, I, don't, I think. Motion tracking. There we go. The frick. Okay. Hold up. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Oops. What the frick did I just do? Whoopsie. Did I just crash program? I messed up. It's frozen now. Like it's just frozen. Great. I think it would have been a good idea to maybe export the footage first. Maybe. That's just me. I could do the Lumetri color stuff and then export it because that would make it... That uses the face detection thing. Yeah, no. It is just frozen right now. I can understand because it has to pull up so many freaking images. But, like... Come on, bro. I'm on a time crunch. No, I'm not. Not on a time crunch. Come on, bro. Any day now. Did it load? I'm just going to click new composition. Nothing happened. Alright, I think we're going to have to force close this. I'll pin that so I can open it again.
System interrupts 82%? The heck? Alright, I just closed Adobe After Effects. I clicked End Task, and it's just frozen. Ah! Alright, there we go. I'm going to export it if it breaks again. Like, export it first and then try to mess with it. Because it's better to do that, like, to have a, uh, a weird kind of video thing instead of trying to do all of these. Also, what does it mean, clear cache? My drive isn't even full. Weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, how the frick is this project 8 kilobytes? Didn't it load the entire freaking... Apparently not. Uh, I'm gonna delete this, I guess. Oh. Yeah, no, it just says media not found. Lol. Alright, let's do this for a second time. See, if it didn't have to load all that stuff, it'd probably be better. But it has to load all the stuff. I can see my RAM just steadily increasing by, like, the megabyte. Just up, up, up. I can also see the projects being loaded. Alright, there we go. Let's try to motion track this. I do not want to edit any of the... Did I just import? Oh, they're all different compositions. Ah. We're going to control Z this. That actually makes sense. So that's the reason that I should nest it first. That's a good idea. How about we nest the sequence first? How do you nest? There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, is it still loading every photo? What the heck? Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, now I can delete literally everything. From here to here. Goodbye. I don't think it like that. Wait, were those like the source clips? Alright, hold on. Let me just delete everything in here. Yep. Okay, what the frick. Control Z. Alright, replace with After Effects. Does it load everything? Oh, it does. That makes sense. So, yeah, it had every single composition. That's so dumb. That's so inefficient. Alright, at least it didn't crash this time. We're still working. Alright, where's the model photo? Where's the model photo? Where's the model photo? Da, 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 da. Where's the model photo? There it is. Wow, I found that really fast. Uh, wait, is this like 25 frames per second? Why is it so slow? Frick, am I not zoomed in enough? Uh, what? Okay, we're just gonna say it's tomorrow photo. Let's just say it's tomorrow photo, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do is track motion. Nested sequence 03. We're gonna do position, rotation, and scale. All three of those. And basically what we need to do is... Put these trackers on my eyes and see the the more that I do this the more like the bigger I make these circles the harder it is to miss it kind of I wish that were how it works but that's not really how it works so I'm for to start I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do like this section of the eye because it's the it's a circle you know what I'm saying that's hard to miss I want the circle to be... It's a kind of unique design pattern that's hard to miss. 
and we're just going to spread it out. We have to do that for both sides. Can I see this, please? Can zoom in like the last one did? I want to I wanna see it zoom in. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, like that. That's a nice pattern to go off of. There we go. That's hard to miss the pattern. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also kind of want to rotate it, but that'll be a different thing. Well, they'll all end up getting stabilized like that anyway. So, the next thing we have to do is we have to move frames and see where they are. So, I'm going to go back for the first frame just so I have a reference. So, basically, what I'm going to do is shrink this box. No, I don't want to do that. I only want to move this. Come on now. There we go. Shrink that box to about right there. Shrink this box. Don't want to move that. Shrink this box to about right here and from that it should be able to get to that eye from like to like both of these eyes you know what I'm saying so it starts here and then it goes to here crap you'll see what I mean here in a second can you guys see this I have not checked that in a second let me see yeah you can pretty much see this okay so basically you do that and you click backwards and it should, look at that, oh, 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 it's playing backwards. I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. I just want to move one frame. There we go. And it moved exactly where I wanted it to. Look at that. That's cool. Well, you can't really see it, but. Uh, and we're not going to do this manually because that'll take too long. What I'm going to do is center this once again and blow it up to like that. Now that shouldn't cause any problems, but it probably will just because this is uh, a crap app, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if I try that again, I'm just going to control Z it if that ends up happening. See, it has to search this whole box and that's just like difficult for it. Okay, it still worked. That's good. Was it relatively the same location? Yeah, it was more or less the exact same location. Okay, what I want to do here is I want to say options. I want to say, how about enhance before match? How about that? I don't want to adapt feature. I want to say, stop tracking if tracking is, or if confidence is below 95%. How about that? All right, let's see what the enhanced thing does. I don't know if that'll change it much. This is like sub-pixel stuff. This is to make sure my, oh. Okay, so some went wrong there. That might have been the enhanced thing. Let's go off our RGB. We'll find out which one's the best here soon. Okay, that worked out. I don't know what alpha expansion means. Whatever. Uh, options, let's go off of saturation. What is fields? Track fields? Sure. I don't know if that'll break it. This one's really using a lot of memory. Okay, that one was not so confident, I don't think. Or did it actually work? What, let's not track fields, that seems kind of stupid. We'll go off of saturation, I just want to see if saturation works. Saturation might require more processing? Maybe. I don't know if it'll work because of the... Yeah, that seems still pretty much spot on. Okay. I'm going to go off of RGB just because I think that's the best one. And we're going to go backwards. And see, the, the thing is, if it ever ends up breaking at some point, we have um, 
a way to fix it by just doing manually. See, the biggest issue I can see happening here is that one of them is just completely out of bounds, and that's when I'm expecting it to stop. Okay, it stopped. Why is that? Uh, the next one's not out of bounds. We might have to bump it up to like 90%. Or bump it down to 90%. Yeah, that was fine. 90%, we'll do that. What's also a problem is my eyes are dilated in a lot of these. So there's a very good chance that it can just break at some point because of the dilation in my eyes, which I don't like. All right, that was good. And so if I just play this, it should work. All right, that stopped, which means this one probably sucks. No, it doesn't. Uh, it just stopped, period. Okay, whatever. Weird. All right, let's just set it to 80%. Uh, I think if it's super unconfident, it'll know, and it won't go through with the action. That's just what I'm thinking. I do want to edit... How is it below 80? Oh, yeah, that one sucked. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing that was out of bounds. No? Was it? Okay. Okay. What I want to do is I want to edit these boundaries. Uh, this does not need to be nearly as big as it does. It needs to be like this. Because I move up and down a lot more than left to right. So why couldn't it find the pattern here is my question. Okay, that's awful. The frick? Ah, I get it. Okay, let's do set. Let's do luminance. Okay, we'll see if that works. We'll see if that's, like, the saving grace. If Luminance is, like, the best one, you know what I'm saying? Because the RGB there is a little funky. Okay, that didn't work either. So it thinks that that's my eyelash. Huh. Let's try Saturation. Saturation could come in clutch here. On the contrast, I could do my entire eye, but I don't know if that would work. That one worked. So saturation seems to be like the, the clutch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to still set it to RGB because it's a little bit faster. I am, however, going to highlight the entire eye because I have a feeling that will work somehow. I'm not sure how, just I think it could work somehow. Also, that field position is kind of weird. That doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of does, but I think it'll be fine for the most part. Let's try this again for the next one, see if it works. It'll probably go haywire, to be honest. I think the more pixels it has to search, the worse, because there's more interference it can, it can encounter. That one worked really well. Oh, it stopped tracking, though. How is that below? So that's pretty much spot on. Yeah. It's pretty much spot on. I think we need to lower the confidence just a hair. I don't know if I want, to, want it to go off of that one, though, because that frame was a little bit janky. It's fine. The thing I do like with... Um, what's it called? Adobe After Effects is that it will, like, 100% of the time make it right in the center. Like, there's no possibility for interference on the user's end. So, in the end, it will literally just be perfectly straight. Like, no way to mess it up perfectly straight. The only issue is you kind of have to monitor it the whole time because if it messes up once, you have to restart. We don't have to restart, but you have to go from the last frame and all that junk, and that's just never good. Fortunately, the confidence seems fairly high. Now all I have to do is wait. Uh, if there were something to throw this for a loop, it 100%... Oh, Premiere Pro is using, like, all of my freaking 
data right now. Hold up, let me just save this and get rid of it. I want to reserve some memory for After Effects. The more memory I can use, the better. What's using all the memory right now? Opera GX, that makes sense. Why do I even have Steam open on this computer? I don't use Steam at all. Alright, I don't need Logitech because my mouse isn't Logitech. Duh. Um, let's go off of. Oh, that's kind of a weird frame. There's no way that's the center of my eye. Whatever. That's, that's fine, I guess. Alternatively, I think I could... I think I could do it from, like, this, this little watery part of my eye. Because that doesn't actually change. That stays more or less the same the whole time. I think I'm gonna do that. Let's try that at least. Cause that's that's a pattern that's kind of hard to mess up, right? Crap. Uh, what I'm gonna do is shrink this down to about here. I don't think this is a very messable up pattern, but I'm sometimes wrong. Let's go to the next frame, see what happens. Okay, so... I was very wrong. How the frick did that happen? Also, the confidence made it so that it didn't stop. How did that happen? That doesn't make any sense to me. How the frick... How about we do my entire eye? I want to just... I'm throwing things out here. I'm going to test the entire eye. The entire freaking eye. It can't mess this up. It is so much to work with... I think the issue was it just didn't have enough to work with there. We're going to have to increase this border size quite a bit. So let's try the entire eye. I have a feeling it's just not going to work. and it's, That's probably correct. But it doesn't hurt to try. Alright. We're going to go... Well, we have to go off of that frame. Let's try the next one. Is it going to work? It, it's going to take a long time for this version. I know that for a fact. Yep, okay, that didn't work at all. It tracked onto my eyebrow. What the heck? What if I tracked onto something else? Because there's a lot of things to track on here. Track onto, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to track my nose. I don't think I want to track my mouth either. I just don't know what to track. I could track my the sides of my head. That would be kind of weird though. The eye pattern was working really well until I found these pictures with freaking just horrible eye eyesight stuff. Uh, let's edit this and just leave it, I guess. We'll continue doing the eye pattern. I think that's like our best option. Oops. We'll do the entire eye. The entire eye seemed to work. All right, let's shrink these. And go. These frames I've already kind of analyzed, but I'm going to do them anyway. Do them again. It's all working out. We're all having a good time. Question is, what do I do in the meantime? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to pause this real quick so I can edit these borders. There we go. I just had to fix that real quick. You know what I'm saying? 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 And these are the very high res photos, so I don't see it failing, but I think it's possible that it could fail. Anyway, oh, that one didn't have a high degree of confidence. I'm gonna I'm gonna slightly lower this window, just because I don't think we'll run into that issue soon. 
Yeah, all these photos are more or less in like the same area as the last one. None of these jump around a whole lot. That one jumps around a little bit. No, that's not that much. Okay, whatever. Uh, one of these had a really low degree of confidence. I think that was this one. Let's go to the next one. See, the thing with the confidence is that if it's too low, it just not, it goes right to the next one, and that's not what I want. That one was a little bit janky. I think it's fine. I want it to continue going. I don't want it to stop. I do not want that to be my reference frame. That is a horrible reference frame. That picture is just terribly lit. I like this one much better. I think this is the good picture of me. I can't tell. I'm not going to look. And now we wait. It is a lot faster if you just set the windows to be smaller. The only issue is you could run into something where the eyes are just really far away. And so it never actually gets there. Also, when you're tracking two points, you just have a lot more possibility for stuff to go wrong. All right, I'm going to let that track for a solid while. I think in the meantime, I'm going to pack and stuff. I've only been streaming an hour and 11 minutes. What the frick? Why? It sounds like we've been done with this for a while ago. I do want to try the auto tracking, though. It's a lot, it's a lot quicker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I also don't have to do anything, so that's cool. I'm going to find something to do. I think I might pack my stuff. I don't know. I could just do my laundry. I think that's a good idea. I'm going to do my laundry while I wait for this to go through and stuff. All right. Do, 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 do. Let me move my camera around. I'm trying to figure out where to put my camera because, like, it's there's no good spots to put it. I can always rest it against this thing. But that just doesn't look very good. There you go. I've got that kind of figured out, maybe. How about that? I have the tripod thing resting on the camera now. There we go. Alright, I'm going to leave that running for a while. If I see anything, I will fix it. But for now, it's going to stay good. I also have my shoes on for whatever reason. Okay, do my laundry time. Some of these clothes I do want to take to IMSA with me, so I'm gonna, well, keep them. Uh, these are jeans. One of my favorite pairs of jeans. I'm gonna put this in like the IMSA pile, right? This is something I want to take. These pants, they're good. I don't want to take them though. I don't want to overpack. Uh, these, I think, are just shorts. I kind of want to take these. These look good. They're very generic. I don't know if they're... They're kind of just running shorts. I'll say take them. My socks are stuck to my freaking legs right now. Alright. I can't read chat, by the way. Let me turn my laptop so I can see that. Of course, I don't have anybody in chat, but just in case. Undies. I'm not taking those because I just got a brand new spanking pair of them. Do these have zip-up pockets? They do. They're going in the pile. The pants with the zip-up pockets are my favorite pants. No lie. 100% my favorite pants. These are actually the nicer pair of jeans that I own. I'm going to take those because I like jeans. These are gym shorts. Uh, I do not want to wear these at my IMSA school, though, because they say a different school name on them. So I just read it. No, that's how I get doxxed. These have zip up pockets. I'm 90%. Yep, they do. I wore these to Lollapalooza to make sure I did not get pit pocketed, and it worked. 
So, if you need any advice for what to bring to Lollapalooza, bring some pickpocket proof. Excuse me, pants. Excuse me. Are these my good shorts? There were red ones and there were pink ones. I like the pink ones more than the red ones. But I don't know. Yeah, I think these are the, just the pink ones, but under weird lighting. Whatever, I'll take them. I do need workout clothes, so this will be my workout clothing. I have a mask in my pocket. I need to put that in my box. You can see here there's just a mountain of clothes on top of this. I don't know if that's visible though. Can you see that? No, you can't, but it's there. Here, I can just show you. There's a mountain of clothes on top of that, that there box. Is this the Tommy in it shirt? No, but it's a white shirt and I need that. Take it. Is this the Jan is Nine shirt? Please tell me it's the Jan is Nine shirt. I have to check. Jan is Nine. Where is that? I don't think I have any other shirts that are this color yet. Now I have to refold it. Great. But it is the shirt that I want. And this is the shirt that I like because it says Jan is Nine on it. I don't know what this is. This might be a Bitcoin shirt. No, it's a Drake Orthodontic shirt. I'm not reading that. That's freaking cringe. This is an IMSA shirt. Must have. Frick. See, I know I'm overpacking, but I'm going to probably wear these clothes like each once. I'm not just going to not wear them. You know what I'm saying? These underwear suck. They're way too small. Don't need to take those, but I'll just put those in my drawer. Uh, these are briefs. I do like these. I will take these. Socks. These socks suck. I do not like these socks, but I will take a couple of them. Excuse me, voice crack. Uh, I just need to make sure they don't have holes. Because I do not remember to throw away socks with holes in them. This one has holes. I'm not taking it, but I will just put it back in the pile. Um, I need to find a match to this one. I hate these socks. I'm not taking them. I think this is a match. Is it still running? Yes, it is. Looking good. I need black socks, I think. Wait, I think I have black socks. Yeah, okay. All my socks in there are black. These are a match. I'll take like three pairs of those. This is a Tommy Unit shirt. I don't think I need this. This shirt kind of sucks. I'm going to take it just for old time sakes. These are more briefs, but I don't know if I like these. These kind of just suck. And I'll take them anyway. They're good. They're probably ripped, though. These are winter socks. I don't think I'll need these. Are these ripped? I thought they were. Oh, well, apparently they're not. I'm taking them. If they're not ripped, I'll be taking them. Also, I just realized I'm putting all the folded socks that I'm taking in this pile. Oops. I have to put them there. More briefs. Are these good ones? Probably. They're Hanes. They've got to be good. I will place them in the take pot. I like the briefs. I do not like the boxers that much, but I might take one pair. Do I take one pair of boxers? I think these are the ones that I'm wearing, but... One pair of boxers. Just, just for, like, sleeping purposes, you know what I'm saying? I already have enough of these socks. I don't need to take more of them. Uh, this is just a random freaking pair of underwear turned upside down. Actually, these are more comfortable. Is it still running? Yes, it is. I'll take that. I'll just take them. Just take it all! You know what I'm saying? This is a red shirt. I think it has a Bitcoin logo on it. I don't know. Nope, it's just a red shirt. I don't need a red shirt. All of my cool clothes are just regular color. You know what I'm saying? They're flat colored. And I don't need more flat colored junk. I need multicolored junk. This shirt sucks, I'm not taking it. This jacket and this jacket I'll take, but I'll do an army roll for them. Because they're big. Actually, I think I'll just take my NASA jacket. I don't need a jacket while I'm there, really. 
Like, what else? Am I, what else am I gonna be using it for? Also, the jacket can last me a couple weeks, so I think I'll just take one jacket. They're really bulky, so I don't need to stock up on them. I'm not gonna be wearing them every day. Well, maybe I'll take two. Let me see how tight of an army bowl I can get this in first. I remember how to do this correctly. It's like, oh, I'm not doing it right already. So you do this, you fold it halfway in on both sides. And then, I think, I'm not sure. I think you're supposed to put this down in there. Like that. And then you're supposed to fold it. How did I do that side? No. How did I do that? I just did it. Like, what the frick? I just did that. Oh, I was like that. No? How did I do that? Okay, hold on. So I went in. Okay, so in, back, and down. Why does it look like that? I think that's it. That's how I did it. Or at least similar. We'll say that's how I did it. Maybe the sleeve is just longer. I don't know. Anyway, put it like that, and I think you fold it on top of itself. And you kind of just have it all smashed in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, put that up, like so. And you roll it from the top. And you get to here, and you wrap it around. You might not have done this right. Well, that's about right, I think. This army roll is way tighter than I remember. Like, it's way smaller. I remember it being longer. Uh, I might not have folded it. That probably makes sense. Alright, that's one jacket. Just like a jacket bean right there. Is my stuff still running? My fan speeds have gone down, so I thought it stopped. But it looks like it's still going. I might pause it for a second just to make sure things haven't gone out of bounds. Where is it on the timeline? I think it's almost at the end. Cool. Once it gets to the end, I can watch the ending part and then just kind of go from there. Do I have three jackets? Oh, this jacket. Yeah, I'll take this jacket. This is my favorite jacket. This is low-key my favorite jacket. My favoriteest jacket. Well, not my favorite jacket. My NASA jacket's my favorite jacket. This is my second favorite jacket. You know what I'm saying? All right, army roll. You flip these up. Pull these in ever so slightly. Same on this side. Why is it uneven? Uh, do it a little bit farther on this side. I don't even know if y'all can see that from this angle. That's what I matter. And then you do in, out, down. These sleeves are way shorter, so it'll work better. In, out, down. Uh, why does it look like that? Down. I need to fold opposite. Okay, let me try. Let me try this again. In, out, down. There we go. Is that right? Oh, I don't know, dude. Freaking. I'm on my last straw. You know what I'm saying? This one probably folds up a little easier. These sides are a little uneven, but I don't think that'll be a big problem. Crap, that's a I need this to wrap around further. 
Actually, I think this side has to wrap around. Crap, what did I do? Well, that didn't work out. Uh, I don't think I flipped this up, up enough. So, let me pull just more of it out. Together. Hopefully that didn't damage like I don't know the structure or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe this will work. This is a hard maybe. Is it too? I don't think it's too big. That might actually be. Yeah, it definitely is. All right, I gotta make it smaller. So let's not flip it up at all. Let's just keep it there. That actually already just looks good. It looks better, you know what I'm saying? They designed this for the army roll. And then roll it up. See, it's not latching here. What the heck? It's not like latching in the middle like it's supposed to. Like you're supposed to be able to wrap it around, but that's not happening. Oh, that's probably why you flip it up further. Okay, what the frick? Let me move all this stuff, because I destroyed it. Uh, the thing finished. I'll go look at that in a second. I did an army wall with the first one. How is this one more difficult? It's like the same, it's like the same jacket. Let me flip it up, just a lot, just a lot, a lot, flip it up. All right, there we go. That's flipped like almost all the way up. There's no way that in the world this is gonna work. How the frick did that work? Oh my gosh, this is stupid. Well, two army rolls. One looks slightly better than the other. That's whatever. Uh, do I want to fix? I don't want to fix this one. These are our two jackets, both compressed. Uh, this jacket is okay. I'm not taking it though. Here's a random sock. Here's a towel. I'll put that somewhere soon. But in the meantime, hates Matthew on God. And see why. This stream content just sucks. There we go. Great angle. Okay, you can see here we've kind of had like the spam of stuff. That's uh, good. It means probably good stuff. Are any of these like way out of the ordinary? Like, there are any jumpy movements anywhere that I need to like fix? Is what I'm saying. Okay, that looked like a jumpy movement. Yeah, that just that did not track. And I can kind of see why. Let's track from here backwards and see if that fixes it. That sometimes works. No. I don't want to manually track that because that just looks awkward. Huh. How do I fix this? Let me track by luminance. I doubt that'll work. Is saturation just like the way to go? Way to go. If it works with saturation, I'm going to stick to saturation. Alright, let's try saturation. 
I doubt this is gonna work. What the frick is this? It's editing. I'm auto tracking my eyes. No way to saturation work. Yeah, okay. Did not work. That actually made it worse. See, the issue is that image is just super freaking white. Lighting correction? Would that not be what I want? I don't know. I'll mess with that in a second. Um, why is it taking so long to go backwards? Okay, whatever. Go back. One. Okay. Still have this issue. Why do I have four viewers right now? It says I have four. I don't know why. This is not interesting. I feel like I just need to track from another point. What if I track from here? <laughs> this image is too bright. Why is it just like breaking? Maybe I can just manually track it. I mean, what else am I gonna do, right? I'm gonna manually track. Crap. That looks just about the same as all the other ones. This one needs to be a little bit to the left. There we go. Anything else jump out? That one did. We'll just manually track it. I don't have time to fix this. That one looks terrible. Oh, it's because it's so freaking jumpy. No wonder. Okay, we'll just do a small fix on this. I'll be able to watch the whole thing over and just figure out what went wrong where. I could actually probably just apply that now. Can I apply that now? Why not? Frick. <sighs> Why won't it let me apply? Apply. What the frick? Uh, I'm gonna look up tracker plugin face detection. Mm, Adobe After Effects. What the frick? Face tracker effect, that's not a thing. Hold on, there's no way this is an effect. Why won't this let me apply? You have to click stabilize, I forgot. All right, uh, let's see if this works just at all. In between frames, weird. All right, let's look at this. Okay, there isn't a whole lot of jerky movement there. That's good. Yeah, it looks pretty much spot on. It is way more stable, I will say. 
Yeah, that is way more stable than just regular tracking. Like the manual tracking. And it's quicker. Holy crap. Yeah, that is just spot on. Like, it doesn't shake at all. Oh my gosh, dude. What am I doing? Let's try to do the facial tracker plug-in thingy, Bobby. I don't know what the frick it's called. Let me control Z this so I can out oh, why control Z and now it's frozen. Great. Does it really crash on this? My memory is like 8,000 right now. I need it to not be 8,000. I need to go down. Okay, there we go. Has it applied yet? Because I, yeah, I want the tracker to stay there. I don't want it to move. Okay. Did it already transform? I think it, shouldn't it go back? Frick. Okay, there we go. I think it fixed itself. Anyway. Let's try this stupid facial track thing. La 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 la. Facial track. We're gonna go to standard. No oh, way is that an actual thing you can use. Where did actually put that? Alien face. The freaking. What the frick? Okay, we're gonna look. Is it a plugin? The face tracker effect control control points for several facial features. Where can I find that? Uh Okay, I see it. Face track points, what the frick? No way is this an actual thing. What the frick does face track points mean? Where is this? Uh, drag the footage, position the current time indicator. La 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 la. Is that the tracking method? That's not a thing. Track type. Current track. Motion source. That's not a thing. Good lord. How old is this? It's an Adobe link. May 2021. So this has to be recent. Okay, window. Fade this out. Tracker's already there. Okay. And where might I find face tracking? <sighs> Edit target. That doesn't do a single thing. Options. Nope. Current track. Track one. Blah, 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 blah. Motion target. Lilu, Lilu. Track type, that doesn't help. Motion source. Okay, track motion. How about track motion? How about that? I already did track motion. Track camera. Crap, I don't want that. Warp stabilizer. I don't, I don't want that. Stabilize motion. Eee, that's not an option. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna scream. Is there a video I can use for this? There's nothing that says method. What the frick? Am I selecting like a point? Okay, let's try this. 
I have zero confidence that this is going to work. This is a good starter picture, I guess. Let's do exactly what they say. File import. Blah, 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 blah. Position the time tracker. Draw a closed mask loosely around the face. How? What the frick? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? A mask. How do you draw a mask? Mask. Oh, there's no mask. There's no mask button. Oh, there we go. New mask. Uh, hello? Is anything there? Nope. It's completely empty. I can click to new mask and not a single thing. Happened. Oh, there it is. Mask. Mask one. Add. Subtract. There's no mask. What the frick? Am I looking at the same thing you're looking at, son? Do I have to toggle it on? I'm confused. Where the frick is the mask? Alright, let me just delete the mask because I don't know what the frick going on. Uh, mask. New mask. What? Can I make a circle? Good lord. Okay, can I draw one, please? Someone help me. I need help. Okay, let's start from the beginning. New mask. And I click on this. And what do I do? Uh, that was a bad idea. Track mask. Ah, there we go. See, this is what I wanted. But I don't know how to how do I see the mask? I'm confused here. What do I use to see the mask? Let's set it to like the middle of the screen, because I can't see it at all. Okay, there's there's the edge of the mask. That's all I wanted. Good lord, dude. How do I make it so there's more shapes? Do I just click? Can you just, like, right-click and add a point or something? I don't know, dude. I'm just confused. I'm a confused man. <sighs> Hate this. How do I reset this? I just freaking crapped up the whole thing. Reset. I clicked the swirly thing, and now it's broke. Okay, don't know what I'm doing. Mask, new mask. Mask shape, free transform points, that's what I wanted. Is that the mask or what is that? Can I click that, please? Okay, here's the mask. I need to Can a man please make it so the mask, like, what does Roto Bezier, Bezier mean? Is that what they used? No. It's not what they used at all. This is so weird. We're gonna track the face. How did they do it? Open image a new tab. How'd they make a mask? I don't know. They did it somehow. Uh, frick this stupid Bezier, Bezier, Bezier. I don't care about no stupid Bezier. I want a freaking mask. Okay, reset mask. 
Let's get it together here. Why is it a rectangle? Ellipse. Okay, that's not what I wanted. How'd they add a new point? How do you add a new point? Uh huh. Middle click, maybe? Oops, I did something. A new punto. Good lord. Okay, we're just gonna say that this is where my face is. I'm not messing with this for any freaking longer. I'm gonna scream. This is my face. Please track it. That's all I need. Okay. Their mask sucks. Window tracker. Yes. Face tracking. And what does outline do? Okay. Okay. So let's do detailed features because I don't know what the frick that means. This is a rest pose. Okay. And then we click next frame. Ah, that's cool. It does track the whole face. Let's just let this run. <laughs> because it's so much faster. If this works on the first try, I'm going to be so, so, so happy, dude. I'm also going to be a little bit mad at myself because I spent so long working on it. How long do I want that to run? I mean, it's gonna run. Like, I, regardless of whether I want it to run or not, it's gonna run. The pupil tracking kind of sucks. I don't know if that's pupil tracking or what, but the eye tracking kind of sucks. The outline, though, does work very well. It's very good at tracking the nose, that's for sure. See, why can't a man like this, like a man like me, find this solution easier? Also, why is my camera so freaking tilted? It was like this. Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. That's better. Okay, uh, I don't know how much longer that's going to go on for. Let me check the timeline. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it. I'm just going to disable it for real quick. Can you stop tracking? Stop tracking. Stop. Stop. Well, it looks like it's going to analyze the whole freaking thing, whether I want it to or not. Yeah, I cannot stop that. Great. Uh, well, I assume it's getting close to the end. I think this is about two weeks ago is when these pictures were. It's going about a day every second or so. That's faster. Oh, it's getting towards the end. And I assume it's towards the end. Yippee. That's pretty nifty. Now, I want to see... How do I... What can I do with this? It said it had, like, my facial points on here. Yep. Okay. I want to track the eyes, but I'm extremely skeptical about how well that's going to track. How about I track my nose? What's the nose bridge? The nose tip, I know what that is, but what's the nose bridge? Oh, that's the middle thing. Oh, that's up here. No, I should totally, tr that's the best part to track. I want to track that. Stabilize motion. Uh, I wanna use this, please. Please let me use this. Can I stabilize this? No, it won't let me. How do I stabilize that? I tracked it. How do I stabilize?
Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Blah, 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 blah. Track, 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 track. Let me track, 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 track. Base track points. What the frick? Where did that go? Uh, that tracker is bogus. Didn't work at all. So, uh, motion trackers, masks. That's the one I want. A zero denominator and ratio addition. Wow, I know what the frick that means. Huh? Ain't not working. Ain't no working. See, it does track. The face measurement keyframe data is copied to the system clipboard for use in the character animator. Um, if I select this and just paste it in the freaking, what's it called? The position. Oh, that worked. I don't stay in the middle, though. Why is that? Wait, does the nose bridge stay in the middle? There's no way the nose bridge moved that much. Can I disable this mask? There we go. Wait, yeah, it didn't stabilize anything. Frick, dude. And I click Control Z and the whole freaking program froze. Go figure. Eight gigabytes of data, or uh, what's it called? Something right now. Yippee. See, I don't understand what the issue is. What the frick? I clicked Control Z. Oh my gosh, is it like redoing all of the actions? Oh, I could just reset the freaking transform. Dude, I'm dumb. All right, I need to stop using Control Z. I'm just not a very smart man. Do I need to do like reverse position? Wait, I pasted the position and nothing happened. That's the sequence, isn't it? Good lord. I hate this program. That's why I hate After Effects. Hate it. Simply hate it. It did not move a single thing. Yeah, I pasted the information. Not a single thing moved. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, mask, face track. Where's the face track? Face track points. Can I do something with this? Yeah, there's absolutely nothing. Okay. I want to see specifically the nose bridge, but I think the freaking program froze. Yippee. I hate this so much. It's not even rendering. Okay, there we go. Where does it think my nose bridge is? It's just so slow, dude. Stop rendering, please. Alright, let's copy all this data. Let's go down here and paste it here. I did not get a very good chance to look at this. Oops, I pasted it in the wrong spot. So I paste it there, does it center it? No. It's not. Why? Huh. This doesn't make sense to me. Alright, let's open Premiere and see if, like, the rendering thing happens. So for whatever reason, it does not want to, s to fix it. I don't know why. It's not very smart. I also don't know why it's using 8 gigabytes. That's kind of stupid. Uh, I already made this file. Why is it opening twice? Okay, I'll just open this again. Well, it looks like I'm never gonna find this again. Didn't even add it. Okay, hold up. Let me close this. And open it manually, because the freaking program doesn't know how to do that itself. 
Right, did it center it? No, it did not. Why? Why eat no center? Does the position change a single dang thing? Because it doesn't appear to. I just shifted that by like a million and nothing changed. Nice. That's great. Um... Could I, by chance, just set the freaking, the tracking point to that, maybe? Also, what I'm realizing with this is that it probably won't be able to, like, stabilize at all, which is annoying, but it's what I want to do. I do not want to manually track this the whole way, that's freaking stupid. But what's making me mad is the fact that the position thing is not changing at all. Like, it's not visible. So what changes when you move the whole sequence? Can I move the sequence, please? No. The frick. Yeah, it just, like, does not change a single thing. Is that... I may be stupid here. But why would that be changing? What if I delete the mask? Okay. I delete the mask, and then I change this. Nothing happens. Okay, now I'm just confused. Because this should change. Ah, that would be... So am I even track? What am I tracking here? What am I tracking? Let me just control Z a whole lot of this. So if I paste this, why does not have? Why does not work? Let's paste. Paste. Oh, that was the wrong one. I have to go back here. Nose bridge. Paste. Okay, that moves it. Uh, and it does not move it like at all. Like, it doesn't move it nearly enough. And I just click Control-Z, now my whole computer's gonna freeze for the next 10 seconds. Great. Great, 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 great. Um. That doesn't make sense. Is it, like, anchor point or something? What am I doing wrong here? Let's try anchor point. That locks it. Okay, that locks it. That's kind of what I want. But also not really. I want to track by two points, but I don't know how to do that. I have an idea. So, I know that I have the two trackers. And I know that I have the multiple points that I can put them on. So I'm hypothesizing that if I put the data on the trackers, it should be able to track it from two points. Now that's just me thinking out loud. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. And I hit Control Z, now my computer's frozen. Great, great. Ah, oh, that's nice. We all love that. Ah, it's actually 11 freaking PM. Dude, I've been cheering for two hours, what the frick? Oh my gosh, I'm, this is embarrassing me. Alright, well, I'm not messing with this right now. Okay, face track points, face track measurements. That's what I'm going to look at. Face orientation. This is what I want to fix. Uh, did the data just not show up for this one? What? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Effects. Face track points. Left eye, right eye. So left eye, and it's not rendering at all. What the heck? There we go. It's just, it's just a little slow. So left eye, inner. Where is that? Okay. Left eye, inner. Left eye, middle. Left eye, so I want to track pupil. 
but I know there's no freaking way that that's going to track accurately. There's no way. Uh, what I do want to try to do, track point two, can I mess with this? Uh, here, let me add a new tracker. Can I add a new tracker? No. Maybe. Ah, okay, here we go. Stabilized motion. Okay. Now let's mess with this. So if I mess the points here, I want to track left eye pupil. Left pupil. So if I simply plug it into there, uh, and I also take this one, the other one, where's the other one? The other one, there it is. Take this one, plug it into, where's the second tracker point? Down here. Feature center, there we go. Ah shoot, I didn't paste it at the right uh, intervals. This is only for like the second half of the video, so it's gonna look weird, but I don't care. Uh, pupil, bang. I don't even think my screen, yeah, you can't even see what I'm doing. Feature size, I don't care what stupid feature size. We're not tracking here. We are just putting in the tracker data. All right, is the tracker data in? I think so. So what we do now, is we click here, let's go back here. I think this is the one that I wanted, yeah. Tracker two, did I put them both in the same point? Cause that would be a little stupid of me. Oh, track point two moves, and it moves correctly. So that's that's a, that's a step in the right direction. So we got the left people, we just need to do right people. I think I did left people on both, that's my bad. Effects, track two. Put this in tracker point one, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Bang. Look at that. Look at that. The perfect tracking. Now what I want to do is I want to do position, rotation, and scale. And I want to click apply. And I know it's going to be a little bit hectic here. Okay, that's freaking concerning. Why is my whole face oriented to the right? Frick. Orientation of my face is just freaking... Oh, I clicked Control-Z. Mistake! This program is going to freeze. Yep, 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 yep. What did I expect? Why did I do that? All right. Uh, my bad. Let me go back to this. Why is that point there? Ooh, I know why. Is it because of the offset? Uh, that makes so sense. The attach point wasn't synced up. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, basically what I gotta do, left eye, right eye, right eye down here. And put the attach point, sync that up, basically. Uh, did that sync? Oh, put them in the exact same thing. Wait, I already messed with the attach point. It's right eye. What the frick? Okay, maybe it's left eye. We'll just say it's left eye. We'll try that. What? It's left pupil? What the frick? Wait, but that's on the... Okay, we... I do not care. I do not care. Simply could not care. That's the... Left from my perspective? Okay, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Let's fly. This is gonna look weird. Alright. Let's see if it works. Oh my gosh! It works! It freaking works! I'm turning off the mask though, because it's just horrendous. Turn off motion trackers, turn this crap off. None. Save that. Alright. After a while of trying, let's see how good this is. Okay, it's, it's very lag. Very lag. Let me go ahead and render this. Take about okay. Well, I thought it would take shorter, but it's gonna take a little bit about 20 seconds. Appears I think from this, I should be able to do the whole thing. What's kind of annoying me 
is that it's tracking the eyes so poorly. Like, I didn't think it tracked it correctly. That's just from my perspective. I'm going to see that here in a second. Like, the center of the pupil. The center of the pupil did not look accurate at all. That could be the rendering, though. Okay, that's not bad. No, that's actually not bad at all. Is that... It's just a little shaky. It's ever so slightly shaky. But it, it works so much better than having to do... Yeah, it's just very slightly shaky. But it works so much better than the... You don't want to do the manual way. Uh, on the opposite side... I could do both. Both would be weird... But I could do both. Also, the freaking... Yeah, this sucks. Can I just set this to normal? What can I not... Oh, it's maxed. It's capped. Great. That looks good. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna let this run. I don't... Well, not let it run, but I'm gonna... I wanna see... So which one is the most accurate point? Because all these points are, like, weird. These are not very good points there's this one let me look at all of them they all jump around quite a bit the pupil is scarcely accurate like barely accurate if we look at all the other ones they don't jump around that much the nose ones I think are, might be the best candidate because they jump around like the least they stay in place there was one that jumped around a little bit right there. I could also track my mouth, because that's I know that's just easier for it to track. I am wondering... it. So, what was interesting was that it, it sucked at tracking at the beginning, but then it got way better somehow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Delete all the face measurements. Delete all the... Basically reset everything back to normal. Uh, I still want to keep this mask, and you find a rest pose somewhere. Well, this is a rest pose, but is this the best image I could choose? Probably. Actually, yeah, this is probably the best image. See, the, the tracking kind of sucked at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm just going to go back. I'm going to have it analyze all of this other stuff. See, now the pupils are, like, spot on. Like, it wasn't doing that before. Oh, that one was kind of weird. But it, it is tracking, like, literally my whole face. And I like that. Alright, I'm gonna continue with that. I've been streaming this for way too long. I was only supposed to stream this for 30 minutes. But, the stream works out. So, thank you guys for watching on that note. Goodbye. I don't know why I streamed for this long. Rest in peace, my sleep schedule. Goodbye. Or, adios. I don't know how to turn off the stupid stream. Check this out. Love is a... Uh...